we knew they're a very physical team, Georgia, and uh, we expected uh, them to really try to pound it inside. Uh, they're very good at sealing in the post. Uh, they do a great job of passing uh, into the post and really making it tough on you and, and using their bodies. They do a great job on the glass. They're a very good rebounding team. And so we expected a, a game uh, that was very physical and one that uh, we had to be very aware of their shooters. Left side to Weatherspoon, looked down inside, couldn't find anybody there, reverse it, go right to Sword, baseline to Weatherspoon, jump it out on the way in and good. Nice ball movement that time. Excellent ball movement by the Bulldogs. Georgia starts in a 1-2-2 and they're matching out of it. Uh, nice defensive play by Quindary Weatherspoon there, knocking that ball out of bounds. Ready on the wing. To Daniels who popped out to Weatherspoon in the corner. Newman's open. He fires. He's got it from the corner. He had gone over in the last three ball games from three-point range, but he buried that one. Bulldogs look at that Georgia zone that matches up out front. They get it to Holman. Free throw line jumper rattles in and good. Man just dribbling, trying to find up opening to, and good job by Reddy to cut him off. In the corner to Gaines. Ball tapped away by Reddy. Off of Gaines, out of bounds. Bulldogs basketball. I thought our defense kept us in the game. They shot, I think, 40% at halftime, but our offense only was 25%. We did a poor job of attacking their zone, of moving the ball, of getting the ball to the high post, which is what you know we want to try to do against zone defenses. Uh, and uh, we uh, did not do a good job of being patient offensively. Holman looks in the middle, back out to Thomas in the corners. zapardo has got an open look, and he fires and scores. On the baseline, Zapardo kicks it back out, and they go reverse it to the left side, and uh, in the ball, hands of Newman. Newman back to Weatherspoon. He's going to take a three, and it's in and good, and the Bulldogs needed a three, and they got one from Q Weatherspoon. Holds it up, gives it to Weatherspoon, drives it to the hole, lays it up and in. He just took Mate right underneath and scored on it. On the shot clock, it hit eight, it hit seven. Here he goes, pulls it up, looks to uh, Daniels, gonna fire up a long three, no good. Rebound, Georgia, coming down is Frazier. Frazier's gonna put it up on the move, and it is off the iron, and Georgia takes an 11-point lead into the locker room at 32 to 21. On the right side, man gets a screen, comes around it, kicks it back to Mate, and he drives, puts a little jump hook up and in. Ready, put it on the floor, jumps and scores from 15. Up the floor to Ready. Ready back to Weatherspoon. He's going to take a three on top. He's good. They get it into Frazier, who just jumps up and fires and buries one from deep right next to the out of bounds line. Bulldogs working around the perimeter of that Georgia zone. Now Soar going to drive it down the lane all the way to the hole. Can't get it to go. Tapped in by Gavin Ware, his first points of the night. 51-31, 12 minutes to go. Sword drives in front, goes up, puts it on the glass, rolls it in, and gets fouled in the process. Weatherspoon gets it in the hands of Sword. Long one on the way from Craig. He hits a three, and the Bulldogs fight back to within 14. Driving, kick to uh, Gavin Ware. Shot on the way, 16 feet straight away in transition. He was the last guy down. I felt great about the game going into it. I thought we had great preparation, great practices really spirited, and we were not physical. It was really disappointing because we'd come off our best game of the year against Arkansas at the defensive end of the floor and really played well in our, our last outing at home. So uh, we were all extremely disappointed in uh, how we performed against Georgia. Bulldogs, sword exchanging with Weatherspoon. His three on the way, won't go. Rebound is pulled down. And uh, give him to I.J. Reddy, who will fire off the baseline, and he'll score. Fred Thomas kept it alive with a rebound and a nice feed to I.J. And the Bulldogs back to within nine points, steal it again, driving it as Weatherspoon, lays it up and missed it. Ball is fought for, time runs out, game is over, and the final is Georgia 66 and Mississippi State 57.
There's a lot to stop and see this President's Day at Nissan. Reinvented capability, enhanced safety, and reimagined design. Five exciting new models. This is Nissan Now. Choose the 2015 Nissan Altima and save up to $3,000 or get 0% APR financing for up to 72 months. Get your new Nissan now. Get to Nissan, proud partner of the Mississippi State Bulldogs. Well, Vanderbilt's a very good team, very skilled. Uh, you know, they block shots. You know, Cornette and Jones inside are the number one and four in block shots in the SEC. They're the best defensive team in the league. When you look at their field goal percentage defense, they're number one in the conference. They're uh, overall, their three-point field goal percentage defense, they're number one in the conference. Uh, they're number one in block shots and they're a very good offensive team as, as uh, Coach Stallings' teams always are. On the side to Weatherspoon, pops it down to Daniels, outside the lane, he takes it in front, and a little jump hook is up on the rim and in. A kind iron, and it bounced in, up and over the big man Joe. So we're down the lane, got a little screen, puts a jump hook up and in. Well, a little floater type shot and a good screen by Gavin Ware. Bulldogs with a fast break up the sword. Now the Travis Daniel going all the way to the hole, right down the lane, and he lays it in. Beautiful. Bandy up 18 to 7. Holman starts to drive. Now throws it back out and throws it right to Baldwin. And he's going to run down and jam it on the other end. In the Vanderbilt game, they got up to a good start, and we fell behind. Uh, and, uh, you know, we did a good job fighting our way back. Uh, you know, Eric had a tough game and really wasn't himself out there. Uh, I thought that uh, Gavin off the bench gave us good minutes in the first half, and uh, Q did a good job fighting us back into the game with a couple of big baskets. Rebound, Mississippi State. Newman comes out of the with it, ahead to Reddy. Bounce pass to Weatherspoon, tries to go up and does, and scores, and gets fouled in the process. At first, in like the first seven minutes, I really didn't get a lot of touches. But I mean, like down down the stretch, my um, teammates really found me in transit, tried to get me going, and tried to get a lot of easy baskets. So I credit them for that. But I mean, we got it going in the late first half, early second half. So I think that was good for us. Baldwin driving, shoots it outside. Fisher Davis long and on the way and short this time. He was a little deeper than normal, and the Bulldogs do get. A stop on the final possession for the Commodores. 41-32, Vanderbilt leading at halftime. To Cornette, lob it to Jones outside the lane. Back to Cornette. He has got a three on the way and good. In transition, Roberson left side and he gets the three to go. Back to Jones in the lane. Spinning shot over Zapardo on the iron, won't go, put up, goes in. Cornette scores it, gets fouled, will go to the line for a three-point play. Jones underneath, has the ball knocked away as he tried to take it back up. Bulldogs, I.J. Reddy on the move, takes it all the way to Weatherspoon in the corner, three on the way and good. You know, our biggest thing that we do is say, uh, stay together. We stay together and we got stops. I think defense is the bigger part of basketball, especially college basketball, because it's so much team defense. You no, know, we were down 17, we bunked together, and everybody had that looking at him, just like, let's go. Driving is ready all the way in, puts the shot up and in, over LaChance. Grabbed out of there by Malik Newman, up the sword, he goes driving to the rim all the way, and he lays it in and good, and he just exploded to the goal for the Bulldogs as they cut the lead back to 14. Chicken really took that game over. It wasn't me saying anything. It was uh, our senior leadership with Chicken saying, hey, I'm not letting this happen. And he did a great job getting some easy baskets by attacking the rim. Uh, and uh, so I give uh, uh, Craig Sword a lot of credit to begin that run to come back to give us a chance to win the game at the end from the corner. He was a very aggressive. You know, he got to the rim and caused their bees to get fouled. And I think that helped us a lot. We know Chicken scoring low. I think he scored like eight, 10 points back to back, just fast break layup. And that's what we expect out of him. He did a, he did a great job leading us, uh, leading us that way in the second half. Bulldogs have I.J. Reddy in. 
He has replaced Newman, lob it on the inside, and get it to Sword on the lob on the inside from Weatherspoon, and that was beautifully executed as Sword slammed it home. On the outside, Baldwin circles to his left. Ball is stolen by Travis Daniels on a bounce pass intended for Roberson. Long pass to Gavin Ware underneath, and he slams it on a great lengthy bounce pass by I.J. Reddick. We got a lot of stops, and she got out in transition and got some really good, easy baskets, and that opened up the floor for me. When I got out in transition, I got a lot of easy baskets, got to the free throw line. Bounce pass down inside. Gavin Ware kicks it back out on top. Reddy's three is good, and the Bulldogs have made it a one-point ball game. Roberson with eight seconds out the ball one. Five on the shot clock. A minute, two on the game clock. A minute. Throw it back to Cornette. Cornette has it knocked away, and we get a shot clock violation. A reaching in was I.J. Reddy. Slapped it away, and as they scrambled for the ball, the shot clock expired. I.J. Reddy gets a screen out high from Gavin Ware. Starts to drive it in all the way underneath. Out to uh, Daniels in the corner to Reddy. He drives it in the lane. Drops it off to Ware. Ware underneath with a reverse layup in and good with 39.8 seconds remaining. They came down uh, and, and went ahead. We elected to foul to try to lengthen the game, and they missed one or two, which was very fortunate for us, and so we're down two with the ball. The Bulldogs trying to either tie or take the lead will inbound the basketball. Now the question is, do the Bulldogs try to tie the game on a last shot, or do they want to go ahead and score early if they get an opportunity? We talked about what play we wanted to run and um, you know how we were going to try to attack if they were in man or attack if they were in zone. So you're always a team that plays both defenses. Uh, you have to prepare for both defenses by giving them two separate uh, you know, plays or sets or what we're going to do offensively against each. Dribbles it back outside, 13 on the shot clock, I mean on the game clock. He starts to move, gives it back to Newman, pulls up and fires a three, no good. Came off the second ball screen, they were packed in, and I kind of pitched it to Malik, and he shot it, and the ball came off and it got to Gavin. Ball knocked outside, Gavin Ware to Reddy. When it came back to me, it was like two seconds left, and I seen Q in the corner, and as soon as Gavin looked at me, Q said one more. <laughs> And when I called that kind of pump fake, gave it to him. To the other spoon in the corner, on the way, and good! And good! And the dogs have beaten the Vanderbilt Commodores 75 to 74. When I shot it, it felt good. Um, I had to shoot it um, sky high because Damian Jones was closing out on me, and that's a seven footer, so I had to try to get it over here, outstretched hand, and things like that. But I did, I, it left my hand, it felt good, so. I was hoping it failed and it, it did just that. I gotta admit, it was really fun for me to be sitting at home after the game and watching Sports Center and seeing that that was the number one play of the day on Sports Center. Uh, they kept playing it over and over and over. And I was so excited for our team, the way they went out and uh, had so much fun celebrating on the court. We've been in so many close games and it just feels great to come out on the right side of a close game for a change for our team and our program. So. I'm hoping this will be a really good momentum builder for us moving forward.